Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. This is your girl Queen Gigi Natural. So this video is over. I'm gonna be about like overall vagina, uh, vaginal health. Um, so I'm just gonna get right into the video. Um, and I wrote down a little list of everything. So quick tips for hygiene, um, for vaginal hygiene, preventing BV and these infections, and more much more so what we all should be knowing to do is wiping from front to back right um shower daily it's a must um and if you are sec sexually active um you want to pee pee before you have sex and after and you want to wash up very well after you have sexual intercourse. Um, what else? And I know a lot of ladies like um, use certain products to take showers and um, to wash down in your vaginal area. Um, I, I prefer using Dove. Um, the soap bars or this there's also another um baby dove but um i don't have that right now so sensitive skin unscented some ladies say oh you're not it's not soap um it's flash it's just a slogan um it still gets the job done and a lot of ladies use stuff and my mom my grandma my sister, excuse me, everyone that I know personally use this. Um, what else? Another one. I just had. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out. Okay, I cannot find it right now, but it's the foam wash like this but it's foam and like also what i like to wash up with too just for a little nice little natural scent up with, that's with dove is this is my favorite this one is nourishing secrets um relaxing ritual body wash with lavender oil and rosemary rosemary extract This is very good um, for if you're a little stressed, you want to wash the little stress away. Very natural. It says, Inspire, uh, inspired by the rituals of French women. So this is, that's, and reading the back is really cool. Um, yeah. The Dove Relaxing Ritual Body Wash will revive your senses as you cleanse away the stress of the day. Now that this is so relaxing. You know, lavender is always good to um, have for women, you know, for us women. Um, and my other one is this. It's almost out, but this is the one of the best soaps to use to... You can use this down below too. And why? Because it is arm and hammer and it's very natural. It's vegan. It says um, essentials, arm and hammer essentials, ultra replenishing, well, re replenishing, replen yeah, whatever. And body wash with soothing bacon soda, dye free, paraben, paraben free vegan clear water said right there clear as day even says it on the back on the back it says the same thing and give more um information saying refreshing nourishing arm and arm and hammer essentials body wash is especially formulated to clean condition and moisturize your skin with the deodorizing power of Arm Hammer, baking soda, essentials, 
body wash will leave your skin feeling fresh, silky, and smooth. Dye free, no Caribbean bins, no tested on animals, vegan. Clear as day. So, all right here and right here. It smells so good, too. And it's good down in the vaginal area, too. Um, but I mostly, I just used the Dove. But I tried it out. I was perfectly fine. No problems. Um, what else do I have on the list? Um, use wipes. Along with tissue, of course, when you're using the bathroom. Like I said, wipe front to back. Um, also, take probiotics, ladies. It'd be good for you. Um, now, I'm currently using... I always like to try out different probiotics, by the way. Um, just to see what works better for me. And just um, to explore... And get more knowledge on different types of probiotics. So I came across this. I was in uh, Target one one time, one day before, just roaming around and um, just looking at stuff or whatever. And I needed some more probiotics too, but I was gonna get that at Walmart um, or H E B. But I was just being curious about other probiotics that that was at Target and. Um, it's vegan probiotic supplement up four and it's probiotics, of course, probiotic and prebiotic and it's gummies, um, digestive plus immune support, vitamin C boost, mixed berry gummies and, um, gelatin free plus natural flavors. Um, probiotics, prebiotics, vitamin C. C. So, yeah. And it's on the back even says that. Uh, anyway. But yeah, also, ladies, what you can do to, um, if you are irritated down below or just to keep yourself fresh also even more down there, um, if you have like, um, I would do just, the, I would say do a ABC bath soak or a seesaw bath soak, um, or you can do a V steam, yoni steam. And if you ladies don't know what that is, I'm going to just insert a little clip of what I'm talking about. It has herbs. Of It helps with um, a lot of things. Just do your research. I'm going to um, put it down in the description box of everything you need to know about the V steam for you ladies that don't know what it's for. And how it, you know, how it pretty much helps you. Um, drink plenty of water. Eat fruit and veggies daily. Drink plenty of water. Can't stress that enough. Um, eat plain yogurt with fruit and honey. I prefer not to, not to, um, eat. I know a lot of ladies like the yogurt that has, like, the flavor, the the flavor of the fruit and stuff, you know, already. But, honestly, I prefer not to because that has tons of sugar in there. Um, I'd rather just make my own little um, yogurt naturally. And it's going to help less, no, not natural sugars. Um, and what I mean by is eating the plain yogurt with fruit, fresh fruit. Um, mix it with honey. Um, do not add sugar because it's just 
that's defeating the purpose. So, um, I would say blending the fruit, blend, put it in a blender and blend it and mix it with the yogurt and add the honey. But I like to make a, you can do it that way, but I like to make a smoothie sometimes. So what I do is basically, um, get the yogurt, the plain yogurt, um, my fruits and the honey and, um, uh, Sometimes I add olive vera juice um, into the mix and a little bit, of course, of the water, um, um, not water, a little bit of water. Yeah. Olive vera juice. Um, what else? And a cup of ice for a smoothie and then blend that all up. I'm telling you, you have a nice smoothie um, that's going to help you for your overall health, your skin, um, yeah, your skin and just everything vaginal health as well you're gonna be feeling fresh um smelling fresh and whoever you with that goes down on you is gonna love that um what else that's pretty much it you know and i can say about you know little quick little tips for the vaginal health and to just keep yourself freshly clean and um just to also get rid of the toxins the back bad bacteria you know we ladies often run into that um you know issue also i just want to talk about too and this has always been a big topic too, especially on Facebook. Um, and some of these men don't realize that, um, their semen can cause women to have older. So sometimes it's best to just wear condoms. Um, but you know, sometimes it doesn't happen, work like that, you know, um, just best thing, just keep yourself clean afterwards. You know, um, but yeah, like I just said, those are just quick, you know, tips that I do and that you can do if you guys don't do those things. Um, the suppository, you know what, ladies, I don't think I even mentioned the suppository. Sorry about that, ladies. So before I end this video, I forgot to mention boric acid suppositories. So... I get these monthly um, on Amazon. There's other types of brands, you know, and I'm sure it works the same because it's just the same, uh, just different brand, of course. Um, since Bork Acid Suppositories for um, to support vaginal health, support pH balance, support the uh, vaginal health. And it comes in 30 suppositories. Excuse me. This called this is called boric life. And boric acid, uh, 600 milligrams. And Nutriblast is the um, brand. And I love this. And you want to do this at night. Mainly at night. Um, and wear a panty liner. And you want to do it. We're depending on it throughout the day, too, because you're going to be leaking. You're going to be just TMI and just, you know, letting guys, ladies know that you're going to be wet down there and you want to change your panty liner um, throughout the day because it's going to get real. But it will help you as far as the itchiness, um, dryness that if you have a little dryness down there it's going to help you with that best thing to do it when you are having bv or yeast infection or you want you can do this um after your cycle um after sexual intercourse um i normally do this after my cycle um if I do unprotected sex with my boyfriend.
um i'll pop that in wait you want when you are taking when you're not taking these you're gonna pop these vaginally up and there is um hold on there is the what's it called the applicators um i don't have any more but give me a minute if i still have the bag i'll show you So I am guessing I don't have the bag anymore, but you can get um, off Amazon this um, applicator for the suppository. Um, I don't have any more, so I just make sure my hands are clean, it's, or even when I'm at the shower, because of course your hands is clean. Um, you want you can just use your fingers as far as you can to get it all the way up there. You want to just push, push. Sometimes I just use my hand and this like push it up there and use this to guide it up there to push even more and you want to um you want to push it all the way up there until you cannot feel it no more the suppository anymore you should be able it should be able to disappear um so yeah um what else did i say i said um oh yeah um you can use it after your cycle for seven days. Honestly, I really don't have to use it for seven days after my cycle. I'll just do it for one to do one to three days. Really, you can just do it one day and be fine, you know, just to kind of make sure you're gonna be fine. Um throughout the week from after after your your cycle. Um but if you want to be sure. I would do seven days, but please do not have sexual intercourse when you are using these suppositories. Um, if you're going to pop it in just for one day, um, I'll wait the next day. So, so if you do it that night, that, that, um, that night, I will wait until um, later that night to do anything just to kind of make sure all your body your all of that's flowing out um throughout the day or whatever or wait a couple of days and then then you can do whatever you know um but seven days do not have sexual intercourse we do it um for three days do not of course do not um that's pretty much all I can say this is really helps. I love this. I used to even I'm gonna tell you a little story. A lot of people are there's a there was this little on Facebook, this little this girl had posted about plain yogurt as a dish or whatever. And let me tell you that some of these women were like, You're not supposed to do that, blah blah blah. And that's supposed to dish. Honestly. You're not supposed to dish, but it's what you use, what you're using, and how you're using it. Um, but you want to do it correctly, too. Uh, like I said, you know, it's what you're using and how you're using it. Um, plain yogurt is perfectly fine to dish with. Um, as long as it's plain and not the fruity stuff that, you know, the fruity yogurt and all that other stuff. You don't do, no. Just the plain nasty one. Um, what else? Um, you can dish with that. Um, but because I've tried it, I tried it a few times, and I was like, this is beginning to be a little messy. Um, and it did, it does work. But if you want to do that, you don't want to have sex either. You want to wait a couple of days too. Um, but I just was like, nah, I found these. These are better than doing that. Or some people, some ladies use the, do the plain yogurt with the tampon. And I don't use tampons anymore. I use only pads, just pads and the, the cup. 
So, yeah. I just use the pads and look my cup. My, uh, you know, you guys, I'm going to insert a picture if you don't know. It's, um, a cup for your cycle. Um, that's pretty much it. I, if you want to go and try the plain yogurt dish thing for your yeast, um, yeast infection or BV or whatever, by all means, try it. If you want to go ahead and try that. I recommend getting the dish bottle, rinse, rinse out the uh, pour out the product, rinse out the product really well, and use um okay, so say for instance this is the dish bottle, right? You wanna use um less than half of yogurt. You want to put less than half of yogurt inside of it. The rest with distilled water or purified water. Shake it up very well, and then you can dish with that. Um, but that's that's on the messy side. But I recommend not to. I just don't want to do that no more. I don't want to deal with that. Although it, it works. I just rather use the suppositories. Um, with that being said, that's pretty much it for my video. I know it's pretty quite long. But those are my little hygiene, hygiene tips. Um... You know, if you're in your cycle, just make sure you're using wipes because blood can hold odor no matter how clean you are or whatever. And if you are heavy, you're going to have a smell. It's, it may not be harsh smell, but you're going to have a smell, a, a bloody smell. So best thing to do is use wipes. Um... When you're in your cycle, then you can dry it up with, you know, pack, dry yourself with tissue. Um, because especially when you're in your time of month and you're heavy, medium to heavy, and you have to take a SHIT, you don't want to just use, you don't want to use just tissue. That is just, no, no. Use some wipes, ladies. Use wipes. Please, it gets the job done. You don't want to be, just don't want to smell either. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for all this time. So, um, I'll be back with another video. This is your girl, Queen Gigi Natural. Laters. Peace. <laughs>